Hey Gemini's, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your readings. <laughs> welcome back, you guys. I know it's been a while, but I felt the need to do a reading for you. Being that it is your birthday season. Um, you guys, I'm still recovering from the thyroid surgery that I had on my throat. So my voice is still a bit weak. If I sound off, it that's why, okay? <laughs> But here we are, a new week, and let's see what's going on with Gemini. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. What's going on with, on with you, Gemini? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Gemini's. Gemini's, what's going on? We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. Who's, who's holding back emotions? Someone feels like they're holding back e emotions here. You may feel like you're not able to express how you feel or you're not able to, you know, show someone how you're really feeling. Vice versa, as I always say, put the characters where they go for your personal situation. The stories could be flipped or reversed, okay? Someone is holding back emotion, feeling like they can't say how they feel. Knight of Cups. Yeah, someone wants to offer a cup, but uh, feeling a bit restricted. Yeah. Feeling a bit restricted here. The world card at the bottom of the deck. There could be a need to close out that cycle of feeling like you can't be yourself or feeling like you can't express yourself. Someone may be feeling shy or be dealing with like social anxiety as well. Let's see what this is. Let's get into it for Gemini's. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Four of Pentacles. What is that? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone moving a bit slow. Six of Cups, but they have a lot of feelings. And yeah, they keep thinking about you too. Or you thinking about them. <laughs> Someone has a lot of feelings that, <clears throat> that they are not expressing here, Gemini. Okay? Up late thinking about it. Nine of Swords, can't sleep, thinking about this love. A love possibly from the past with the energy of the Six of Cups and Four of Cups. Show me. High Priestess, it could be a Pisces for some of you. Or someone is just in this mode of being quiet, trying to use their intuition to see what to do next. Yeah, show me the King of Cups for Geminis. King of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is serious about this love, honey. King of Wands, look at that. All the kings are coming out. Yeah, with the Page of Cups. So look at that. This is someone who is ready. They're ready for love. Okay. They carry the energy of the emperor when you start getting the kings. But at the same time, Page of Cups is here. <laughs> so it's like they're ready for love. But again, their expression of it, someone's expression of it is very small or shy. It feels shy like a child when it comes to this person expressing how they feel. Again, this could be you, okay? Put the characters where they go. Show me that page of cups. Nine of pentacles, yeah. Someone is very attracted here. Six of swords. And we have the seven of swords. Yeah. Now, I will say someone could be trying to decide here, you or your person, who they really want and could be trying to be single. The three kings could represent a third party, okay? Someone could be trying to decide who they really want to be with, okay? Trying to be single and trying to go about it in a way that is kind of covert, okay? Trying to go undetected with choosing someone who they want, using their intuition to choose exactly who they want to offer this cup to, okay? For some of you who are dating more than one person, you may have a decision, okay? Or you may have a past person and a new person in your energy for some of you. For others of you, this may be this person trying to decide between you and another person, okay? But they have to do it on the low. Six of swords, seven of swords, okay? And that's for some of you. For others of you, I just feel like this person 
Um, they feel like you are the cream of the crop. Yes, you are the nine of pentacles. You're everything to this person. With the six of swords and the seven of swords, the communication part is a bit off because there could be a lot of distance between you and this person. With this person being long distance or this person, you know, not able to communicate with you uh, like you would like them to. Okay? Even though they're everything that you want. Magician, you at the bottom of the deck. Show me. Okay. I was about to say, show me that Knight of Cups. The hangman came out straight up sideways. Wow. Straight up sideways. <laughs> the hangman came out sideways. So, yeah. Someone is trying to get unstuck, okay, from these feelings that they've been having. Trying to get in a place where things are moving forward. Someone is trying to get unstuck here. Show me that Knight of Cups for Geminis. We have Libra's Energy with Justice. Three of Wands. I feel like for a lot of you, someone is at a distance. For, for a lot of you, it could be a Libra. It doesn't have to be. Someone is at a distance. Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on things with you or you want to work on things with them, okay? Some of you, you could be trying to save up money to move toward this person or vice versa. Yeah. What does this person want to say to Gemini? What do they want to say? Page of Pentacles, the Chariot. Yeah, they could be trying to move toward you, actually. They may also be trying to buy a car, get transportation with the energy of the Page of Pentacles and the Chariot. Chariot is all about movement. It could be a cancer for some of you. doesn't have to be, but I feel like this person, they could be saving up. Seven of Cups, they may have a lot on their plate. Dreaming about the two of you being together, thinking about the two of you being together. What do they want to say to Gemini? Yeah, Two of Cups. Okay, magician, ten of wands. Okay, so they want to be with you, but something is difficult here. Manifesting something difficult. It could be a physical move, like literally a move um, for the two of you to be together. Like someone would need to move or move in with the other person because they fantasize about this. Having the two of cups with you, but something is difficult Show me a little bit more. What's difficult? What's difficult? Eight of Cups. A bit of longing here. Longing for you. Okay? Again, Eight of Cups can ind indicate distance. There's longing. Three of Swords. There could be a third party as well. This person could be missing you a lot. Or feeling like they don't get enough time with you. What's difficult? Three of Cups, Three of Swords. Yeah, for a lot of you, there's a third party. What's going on with the third party, please? What's going on with this third party for Gemini's and this person? Whoa, what flipped out? Will of Fortune, but I also have the Hermit. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know why I just got coming out of the closet. So the two of you, this may be a same-sex connection for some of you. I got strong king energy, so you could be in your masculine energy dealing with another masculine. For some of you, something coming out, okay? Something has been hidden with the energy of the hermit. Will of Fortune, something coming out in the future, a secret, a secret. Something is difficult, okay? Show me that secret. What is that? Oh, okay. So something may be a, a bit risque with the energy of the Knight of Wands. Something is a bit taboo or risque. Okay. Is this someone like you're having an affair with? The third party could be in a, an affair. And it's like the, the both of you may be trying, trying to be with each other after having an affair. When you get the energy of the Knight of Wands, it's like very sexy, playful, flirtatious energy. That has turned, oh, Gemini, it's turned into love. It could have started off as sex or like cheating or an affair or a third party, but it's turned into the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's turned into love. This is how they feel about you. 
How does Gemini feel about this person? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Ten of Cups. Whoa. How does Gemini feel? Eight of Wands. Oh, you're ready to go. Nine of Cups. You like this person. You love this person. You desire to create possibly a family with this person. It's like I, I'm getting that song somewhere over the rainbow. There's rainbows here in this card with the eight of wands here. And I'm seeing like somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, nine of cups is a place that I've heard of once in a lullaby. I feel like like a, a dream. You feel like this person is your dream person. Yes, a lot of desire, fantasy, but also love is here. This person makes you happy. You may feel high when you're around this person. Like you can't stop smiling. So you both are in love with each other. You both desire each other, but there's something taboo here. Okay. And I feel like for a lot of you, the, the third party could be distance, not just another person, but the third party could be distance. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me come to this deck. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What does Gemini need to hear or know? Insight for Gemini. They'll be back. Yeah. And I also feel like they're not going anywhere. Like this person is not going to leave you. If you're concerned about that, they're here to stay. But there are some things that need to be worked out. Some logistics. Mercury retrograde. There could be issues with traveling, communication, seeing each other, living together. Guardian is here. Move on. And gold digger. Yeah. For a lot of you, if you're dealing with another person that is a third party, there could be someone getting in the way of the two of you being together or you being with the person that you really love or them being with you. Okay. Someone is being protected. Spirit is saying, move on from the gold digger. Someone, they want your money and you could be being used by somebody. So there's somebody that needs to detach you need to detach your life from someone, okay? Or this person does, the cross watcher dealing with the Gemini. You need to detach your life from someone so you can be with who you really love, okay? Wow. Anything else for Geminis? Anything else? What's going on in this situation? Anything else you can show a spirit? Intervention. Yeah, it says rescue and others involved. So again, indicating a third party, someone may need to, uh, may be trying to intervene in this connection. Crickets, silence and non-action. Yeah. And that's why it may be hard for the two of you to express how you feel about each other. Maybe there's no action being taken or someone's getting fed up that nothing is progressing or moving forward. Someone is getting fed up. Grip, anchor, chains, weighed down. This may be you. This may be this person or both of you feeling weighed down by what's happening in this connection or the lack of, not, of action thereof. Like no action is taking place. We want to be together so badly and we're feeling weighed down. We're, it's that longing feeling. We're feeling like we're needing to be together. Trash, needing to throw out something, needing to get rid of something or someone, get rid of the trash in your life, especially a person hanging on to you, hanging on to your energy or vice versa. Someone hanging on to this person's energy. Someone needs to get rid of the third party, get rid of the trash. Okay. Alrighty, Geminis, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. Again, excuse my voice. I am still recovering from, from the thyroid surgery, which was a success, but it takes a while for your voice to come back <laughs> to normal. Alrighty, you guys, take care. Bye.